All right, you beautiful people. Today, we're going to be having some fun with some primary DPS options, okay? Basically, whenever you're in that final stand, you ain't got no special, no heavy. You got to bring out one of the primaries. In the video, we're going to be showing Revision Zero, Touch of Malice, and the good old Outbreak Perfected versus the Grasp of Avarice Ogre. The main reason I wanted to test this in the first place is because this week, Revision Zero got its final catalyst, that being fourth time the charm, or fourth time a reach fit. And we wanted to see if fourth time the charm would work with its main perk, Hunter's Trace, allowing you to load high damage rounds based on the number of crits whenever you max that out you get four and we wanted to see if you landed all crits if you would get another two of those high impact rounds so with that out the way let's go ahead and get into the gameplay and i promise i hit a few more crits this time okay first order of business is going to be the revision zero with the four timer refit aka fourth times the charm now the thing about revision zero a little bit important is that you do want to load up your targeting data before going into the boss fight so you can open up with those special rounds kind of like how you want to open up with the missiles from grand overture right and then you can stack up another set of your targeting data during the boss phase reload those same special rounds and then try and hit another six crits because if you do hit your four times the charm procs you will actually get those bullets back which is awesome allowing you to shoot a total of six of those special heavy rounds the only caveat to this is that you are gonna have to stack up your targeting data beforehand in order to do that you have to hit precision crit just keep that in mind if you are going to be using this pulse rifle now if we talk about the other exotic pulse rifle that you would use in this situation the tried and true good old outbreak perfected you obviously won't have to worry about stacking this pulse rifle up like you do with the revision zero and the way this gun works the more people that are using this the just more damage you guys are going to do as a whole because of all the extra nanites you're just putting on the boss there's a reason why this gun has been so well liked so well appreciated and has a bit of a mainstay as a backup if all else fails damage option when you literally have no other ammo and you got to take that boss down this is the classic gun that people would swap to keep in mind for the gameplay both of us do have the catalyst so we're not missing out on any damage there so i definitely thought this would be a perfect match the new exotic pulse rifle that has some capabilities or some potential and the classic one that's been reigning supreme for quite some time and yeah dude unfortunately it's really not that close outbreak kind of shits on revision zero but what about that good old touch of malice well we're going to see in the gameplay is that i'm going to be using the touch of malice with the catalyst and my buddy's going to be having the outbreak versus catalyst unfortunately bro revision zero just isn't worth showing what it can do against touch of malice if it can't even hold a candle to outbreak the thing about touch of malice is that obviously yeah you're playing a little bit risky there big dog but let's assume you're going to be standing in a well for your final stand or healing rift or some way so you don't have to worry about your health dwindling and you dying you should be good to go okay you're stacking up that charge with blight to times 10 you're shooting the deep buff that does stack with weak and clear i mind you which is pretty cool and you're just letting it rain never ever having to worry about reloading this bad boy and of course if you have the catalyst aka rapid hit it's just going to help you hit those crits more often more consistently allowing you to spam your charge of blight more putting a debuff on them for your touch of malice to do more damage and overall just helping yourself put out more damage with your touch of malice and that final stand in which you really need to get the boss dead that's the only time you're gonna be using primaries for damage thank you for watching be safe